total body photography is it's a game changer. It is brilliant. So we've recently acquired it in Mackay, and we're the only ones in Mackay who actually have it. So this is it's a really great opportunity. Can you imagine you know, how many patients we see in a year, and we examine all their their lesions with our little dermatoscope, and I can describe it as well as I like, and I can take the photos, put that in the file. But what total body photography does, it takes photos of your entire body, which is obviously in a, in a safe space and um, private and, and with one of our you know, trained te technicians on this. And we photograph the entire body in the same positions. And then a year later, we'll do the same thing. Now, what this uh, intelligence does, it will mark a lesion that it feels has changed. And also, it will mark anything that's new. Now, it's not going to change. I'm not going to you know, suddenly not do an examination of you and go, oh, I'll just, just do that lesion. I'm still going to do my full skin check. But what it will do is it will draw my attention and my eye to this particular lesion that may only be two or three mils in size, but it might be new. And I can't, after a year, after having seen hundreds of patients, say, yes, that was definitely there last year, or no, that definitely wasn't. But if it is new, and this total body photography, the, the images side by side, and you can bring them up on your computer side by side. And I can say, well, look, it is different. It, it has changed, or it is new. Look, this area didn't have, it had those other two, but it doesn't have this one a year ago. So I'm gonna focus on that. And I will probably, you know, it just draws my attention. It's an adjunct to the doctor, the people I would use it for. Look, personally, I think a baseline is really good on everyone. And you don't have to have it every year, but a baseline is good. Even in five years' time, you go, oh, look, that, that is new. But certainly for the ones who are high risk. So if you've got a high family history, if you've got the, the skin that is you know, similar to mine and, and you do have you know, the redder, red hair, blonder, light, light hair, blue eyes, and you've got a high mole count, yeah. If you come and see me, I would definitely be recommending total body photography. It's imperative in that sort of high risk person especially if they've got you know, a high number of moles and um, those, you know, the ugly looking moles, I would definitely have them, you know, and freckles if they've got a high freckle count. I think one of the key features with total body photography, it will assist me to find something really small. I would much rather remove something really small, which means it's really early and you've got a far, far smaller scar, it's far earlier in the disease process, far greater cure rates, with just the, the one excision rather than having to come back and do wider excisions and possibly you know, adjunctive therapies because it's metastasized. So it, early detection is imperative. Like anything that, that we do in, in medicine, the earlier we get it, the better your health, health outcome, the better chances of um, su overall survival, and also the less invasive and intrusive the treatment will be. So it's, it's a no-brainer, it's, it's, it's vital.